for Far Beyond Sosedo. It starts with our heartbeat. You know, it's all about tempo. But his passion for hip hop is about more than beats and rhymes. It's about changing education. We needed a program that really had an alternative approach to education. Even today, the education system is really failing a lot of our young people. So in 2005, he created the Hip Hop Reeducation Project. Using music, Far Beyond hopes to inspire young people to learn and transform communities. It's really about the idea that learning is like a process. It's, it's all about life. Do I want my young people to read books? Yes, of course and this will help them read books. We're supposed to grow old, but instead we die young. For students like Stephanie, poetry has become her survival strategy. The highlight of this program, for me really, is the fact that it became a safe haven. My hood is ridiculous. Like the projects, shootouts, and I'll just get under my bed and write a poem. <laughs> Another of Far Beyond's goals is to reclaim hip hop's positive image. Hip hop, from its inception, has been a tool to build positive life affirming community. It's only in recent history that hip hop's been per, uh, used to perpetuate negative images and negative messages. He's hoping to turn that around in New York City and around the world. This cyber session includes students from Berlin. The beauty in the program's foundation is that language is such a beautiful thing. Like there are people in other countries that can't even speak or hear and they can understand. And so for using rhythm and rhyme to revive youth education. We're not about creating the next greatest rap star. We're about creating situations where young people can practice success. Far beyond Sosedo is our New Yorker of the week. John Shumo, New York One.